guys, it's me, and I'm here to do a tutorial for you. Um, I've had a lot of people in the past year ask me to do a nail polish uh, video, just kind of how I paint my nails. Um, I shouldn't even really call this a tutorial because I'm not going to really explain how I do it because I don't really know how to. I'm just going to show you how I paint my nails. Right now I'm in my messy bedroom as you can tell. Um, I usually do most of my nail painting here so that I keep the fumes away from my kids and then I open up the two windows in front of me so I get some circulation. So I usually paint my nails on my vanity like I said because A it's in my bedroom and B because it's a nice flat surface. I use my Ot light right there to do all of my makeup and to do my nails because it is natural spectrum lighting so it really shows me exactly what I'm doing, exactly what the colors will look like when I'm outside in real light. Um, same with my makeup. I hate that time, you know, putting on makeup and then going out in natural daylight and realizing I put too much on. So having my out light is very helpful. So we are there. I'm going to open up these two windows so that way I can get some ventilation and then I will get started. What I'm first going to do is I am going to remove all of my old nail polish. This has been on for like a week and a half and it's chipping away and I'm going to trim my nails back. Um, my hands are really dry right now so I'll probably apply some lotion before I take the acetone or the nail polish remover to my nails um, and then I'm going to take off my rings too. So we are going to remove my nail polish and trim my nails. So as you can see I took all my nail polish out. I pushed back my cuticles. Um, and I did put some hand moisturizer on. I'm a huge fan of this hand food by um, Soap and Glory. They make really good foot lotion and hand lotion and it smells really good. So I'm going to use Power Clutch by Essie. It's a very dark gray. Um, I'm feeling kind of boring today so I'm going to do something that's neutral that can match with everything and I'm a really big fan of dark colors just in general. Um, because New Year's Eve is coming up, um, if you wanted to dress up this polish a little bit, you could always add a like, silver glitter or sparkle, which Sinful Colors has a really pretty gray silver sparkle. Um, these are actually really cheap. I've been a huge fan of Sinful Colors. Um, they are about $1.99 at Walgreens. Is the one place that I know for sure sells them. I think Target sells them in other places, but Walgreens is where I usually get them. Um, the formula is really really nice and it lasts for a really long time at least it did for my nails but this is a really nice sparkly color or if you're looking for something with a little bit more of a hologram type um, sparkle this is also a really nice one by wet n wild it's fergie's i believe new year's kiss or new year's eve kiss or something like that which is perfect because new year's eve is just a few days away and this is just really pretty too i like to wear this over red for christmas and this was really cheap as well from walgreens so to get started i'm going to use a base coat this is the sesh clear base coat i only do this because i don't like to buff my nails every single time and by applying this base coat it usually helps even out so I don't get any of those weird bubbles or bumps underneath my polish and it comes out really smooth. And then I will top it off with a Sesame Dry Fast top coat, which I have to use a dry fast coat because, you know, I have little kids and if I don't then my nail polish gets smudged or I can't ever paint my nails because it takes forever to dry. So this actually dries all of my nails about two to three coats um, of nail polish. It dries it. I believe in like under five minutes and it's like hard and shiny and it's really nice. So I'm going to use those three polishes. So to get started, I'm going to apply my base coat and with your base coat, you can be sloppy because to be completely honest with you, it's clear and it's not going to make a difference. Next, I'm going to take power clutch. I'm going to do about two to three coats depending on how opaque or how nice it looks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle. And then try not to touch my cuticle or the sides of my fingernail. And then do that to every single nail. You want to have quite a bit of nail polish on your um, brush, not too much to the point where it's really runny, but not too little else. You're not going to get enough like polish on your fingernail the first time. It'll be really streaky. So like I said, I start in the middle and then I work my way out to the sides. The trick is to actually not paint on your cuticles or on your anywhere else skin wise.
So that is what one coat looks like. As you can tell, it's a little bit streaky. So I'm going to put about probably another one or two coats on top of that after I do my left hand. So that is two coats and it looks pretty good so I think I will be okay with that and I'll do the other hand and then I'll put my top coat on. So there is my right and left hand. Obviously my right hand looks worse since I am right handed but all of this little stuff that's on my nail our skin will come off in a shower so that'll be really nice so now i'm gonna wait a few seconds and then i will put my top coat on okay so i've waited and i am now gonna apply my top coat um i usually do about one to two coats of the sesh v top coat um just to make sure that i got everything covered and to make it really shiny and dry so when you're applying the top coat what you're going to want to do is get a good amount on your brush again i usually just like wipe my brush on one side when I paint my nails and then there's enough on the other side there's I don't know I don't know how to explain it this is why I'm not good at tutorials and I just brush it everywhere and I'm pretty messy with this stuff and then I usually seal at the top I wipe it at the top of my nail helps make your nail polish last longer so swipe 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 there's a bubble and then I seal the top So there is one hand. So there you have it. There are my nails. They are super shiny and they'll be super hard after the polish dries. And the polish usually takes, like I said, if I use my dry top, dry fast coat, it is dry top fast coat. It usually only takes a few minutes and then I can go about my daily business. Again, this hand looks way better than this hand, but after I take a shower or wash my hands a few times, all that stuff that's on my skin usually comes off. Um, I only paint my nails if I do it this way every single time. I paint my nails once a week because usually I need to for outgrowth, but my nails rarely ever chip using the polish that I do and especially using this top coat which is what I use every single time so I will talk to you guys all later I hope this was what you were asking for if not I apologize <laughs> all right talk to you later bye